Okay, welcome back, Sweden, to your Caribou Data Science channel. This is the Sunday evening, 20, August 2020, 2021, 20, August 22nd, 2021. And before we get started, I just want to share with you a, a comment someone made for the report yesterday, I think it was, it says, this is not a good analysis. Look at countries in Africa that are not vaccinated. I'm not saying your conclusion is wrong, but do an apple, well, first of all, comparing Africa is not an apple to apples comparison, okay? Most countries in Africa are not as advanced, particularly in, in their medical systems, as as the West is. Certainly not as advanced as Sweden is. Okay, so therefore you're the one that's not doing an apple crowd comparison. A better comparison would be to compare it to a Western country of a similar population. And at one point I was actually doing that. At one point I was actually comparing Sweden to other countries in the EU. Okay, but again, you know, his his. Uh, Again, it's, it, it doesn't make any, you know, his, his response doesn't make, first he says it's good, not good, but he says, I'm not saying it's wrong, okay? But anyway, you know, Sweden, for whatever reason, was very late, as you'll see, in starting the vaccine program. I mean, if, if the numbers are right, they didn't start administering vaccine to August, and yet they're already over 50% full vaccination rate, okay? Let's take a look at the vaccine numbers right now. <clears throat> we also need to also remember that Sweden only records COVID-19 data Tuesday to Friday. So that means Saturday, Sunday, and Monday's numbers are added on to Tuesday's numbers, okay? So you can see here, Sweden has administered 11.7 million doses. So far, 6.6 .6 million have received one dose, or the partial dose. And 5.1 million have received the full dosage. So what that means is that means Sweden currently has 65% partial vaccination rate and 51% full vaccination rate. Okay, so those are pretty good vaccine numbers. Considering they didn't really start until uh, to August, if that's right. So the question is, does Sweden have a mandatory vaccination rate? How do you go from zero to 50% in less than two months? Even in a small country like Sweden, you still have to have people cooperate. But anyway, remember the Tuesday spikes? That's what these spikes here are Tuesday. So let's zoom in here a little bit. So you can see these spikes are Tuesday. Even down here, this, while this number is lower, there's still a spike. So let's take a look down here. So this is Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday. Okay. So you can see sometime around July the 13th, you started to see your cases trending back upward. We're not so much concerned with the number over here. We're concerned with what this blue line is doing. And beginning in July, your cases have began, your, your, your cases began to increase, okay? Now this here is a 28-day moving average for cases. Each bar represents the average number of cases for the previous 28 days. So you can see for the 28-day period ending August the 7th, Sweden was averaging 706 cases per day. Now, what I want you to see here, you know, you can see the you can see the trend line, the the linear, the linear regression trend line. Okay, you can see the continuing decline overall, the trend of Sweden's case of deaths dropping really really low. So the obvious question is, you did the the vaccine actually play a part in these reductions, or was this just a result of you know lockdowns and masks or something like that? It's hard to say. Okay, but remember, the vaccine will not keep you from dying from COVID-19. It'll reduce the risk that you will not die from COVID-19. It also will not prevent you from getting COVID-19 virus. Okay. So you come over here now. You can see again the 20-day period. For the 20 day period ending August the 7th, you were averaging 1.6 deaths per day. All right. Now look at weekly cases. Yeah, you got a slight increase here, but you know, keep in mind the vaccine may not change this number too much here, okay? But deaths, look how low your deaths are. This is this is 125 deaths. So right now your deaths are below 75 per week for this period over here, okay? So that's fantastically good news, right? Look how even so, look how low your cases still are compared to where you came from. Okay, and deaths, 
one, two, three, four, five, six, seven months in a row now, you, Sweden, you have seen a decline in monthly deaths. All right? So anyway, Sweden, thanks so much for your time today. Hey, don't forget to click that subscribe button. Don't forget to click the like button. And don't forget to click on that share button. Share the video on Facebook and Twitter and in, in emails and text messages today. Thanks so much, Sweden. We'll catch you tomorrow with an updated report.